Pneumonia is an inflammatory condition of the lung affecting primarily the small air sacs known as alveoli. Typically symptoms include some combination of productive or dry cough, chest pain, fever, and trouble breathing. Severity is variable. Pneumonia is usually caused by infection with viruses or bacteria and less commonly by other microorganisms, certain medications, and conditions such as Autoimmune diseases Risk factors include cystic fibrosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, diabetes, heart failure, the history of smoking, a poor ability to cough such as following a stroke, and a weak immune system. Diagnosis is often based on the symptoms and physical examination. Chest X-ray, blood tests, and culture of the sputum may help confirm the diagnosis. The disease may be classified by where it was acquired with community, hospital, or healthcare associated pneumonia. Remdesivir is an antiviral drug, a novel nucleotide analog prodrug. It was developed by Gilead Sciences as a treatment for Ebola virus disease and Marburg virus infections, though it has subsequently also been found to show reasonable antiviral activity against more distantly related viruses such as respiratory syncytial virus, Hunin virus, Lassa fever virus, and MERS coronavirus. There is possible activity against other coronaviruses such as SARS and potentially 2019 NCoV coronavirus infections. In response to the 2019-20 Wuhan coronavirus outbreak induced by the coronavirus 2019 NCoV, Gilead provided remdesivir for a small number of patients in collaboration with Chinese medical authorities for studying its effects. Vaccines to prevent certain types of pneumonia are available. Other methods of prevention include hand washing and not smoking. Treatment depends on the underlying cause. Pneumonia believed to be due to bacteria is treated with antibiotics. If the pneumonia is severe, the affected person is generally hospitalized. Oxygen therapy may be used if oxygen levels are low. Pneumonia affects approximately 450 million people globally and results in about 4 million deaths per year. Pneumonia was regarded by William Osler in the 19th century as the captain of the men of death. With the introduction of antibiotics and vaccines in the 20th century, survival greatly improved. Nevertheless, in developing countries, and also among the very old, the very young, and the chronically ill, Pneumonia remains a leading cause of death. Pneumonia often shortens suffering among those already close to death and has thus been called the old man's friend. Thank you for watching this video.